This is the Cessna 310, a twin-engine marvel that has been a staple in the aviation world since the 1950s. Known for its robust performance, impressive speed, and unique blend of comfort and utility, this aircraft is a pilot's dream. From its powerful Continental engines to its efficient fuel system, the 310 is all about delivering a top-notch flying experience, and whether you're embarking on a cross-country flight or simply taking to the skies for the pure joy of flight, this aircraft delivers in spades. Here is everything you need to know about the Cessna 310. First off, let's talk size. The 310 isn't a jumbo jet, but for a light twin-engine aircraft, it's got some serious space. We're talking about a cabin that can comfortably seat four to five passengers, depending on the specific model. The cabin width is approximately 40 inches or one meter, which might not sound like a lot, but it's plenty of room to avoid awkward shoulder rubs with your fellow passengers. The cabin height at 48 inches or 1.20 meters is cozy without feeling claustrophobic. Although if you're on the taller side, you might find yourself doing a bit of a duck walk. The seats themselves are decked out in high quality materials, making even long flights a comfortable experience. But the Cessna 310 isn't just about the people in the cockpit. It's also got some serious luggage capacity. There's a nose baggage compartment that can hold up to 120 pounds or 55 kilograms and an aft baggage compartment with a capacity of 50 pounds or 23 kilograms. So whether you're heading out for a weekend getaway or a business trip, the 310 has got you covered. One of the best features of the cabin is the visibility. The cabin is surrounded by large, clear windows that offer panoramic views of the surrounding landscape. In terms of noise levels, the cabin is well insulated to minimize engine and wind noise, which makes for a quieter, more enjoyable flight experience. However, as with any light aircraft, passengers should still expect some level of noise and vibration during flight. The cockpit is not just about looking good, though it does that too. It's about practicality and efficiency. It's designed for two pilots, but can be easily managed by a single pilot, making it a reliable personal and business aircraft. The instrument panel is logically arranged with the six primary flight instruments, airspeed indicator, attitude indicator, altimeter, vertical speed indicator, heading indicator, and turn coordinator in the classic T arrangement. This layout is familiar to most pilots, allowing for quick and easy scanning of critical flight data. It's like the aircraft is speaking your language. Now, let's get to the good stuff, the avionics suite. Depending on the model and any aftermarket upgrades, many 310s come equipped with the modern Garmin G 1000 NXI avionics. This integrated flight deck provides pilots with state-of-the-art navigation, communication, and flight management tools. The G1000 NXI system features a high-resolution 10.4-inch display for both the primary flight display and the multi-function display. The PFD provides all the primary flight instruments in a digital format, along with additional flight data such as autopilot status, air temperature, and wind data. The MFD provides a wide range of information including moving map navigation, traffic and terrain awareness, weather data, engine performance data, and flight planning functions. One of the standout features of the Garmin G1000 NXI is the synthetic vision technology, which provides a three-dimensional depiction of terrain, obstacles, and traffic on the PFD. This enhances situational awareness, especially during night or instrument meteorological conditions. The cockpit also features a well-designed center console that houses the throttle, propeller, and mixture controls, along with the landing gear and flap controls. In terms of comfort, the cockpit seats are adjustable and upholstered in high-quality materials, providing a comfortable environment for long flights. The cockpit also features large, clear windows that provide excellent visibility in all directions. Now, let's talk about how it flies. The 310 is a light twin, but don't let that fool you. This bird has some serious power under the hood. With two Continental IO470 engines providing 260 horsepower each, the 310 has a top speed of around 220 knots. A service ceiling of 20,000 feet or 6,100 meters 
and a maximum rate of climb per minute of 1,500 feet or 460 meters. Early 310s could manage 415 feet or 126 meters per minute on one engine at maximum gross weight, which is 4,700 pounds or 2,130 kilograms in the 310B. As the maximum weights increased, the single engine climb rate decreased. The T310R, at its maximum of 5,500 pounds or 2,500 kilograms, is supposed to ascend at 390 feet or 118 meters per minute at sea level with one feathered. The aircraft requires 1,800 feet or 550 meters of runway to take off at sea level on a standard day. Depending on your power settings, you can expect a fuel burn between 22 and 28 gallons per hour. With a cruise power setting of 23 inches manifold pressure and 2,300 RPM, you'll see a fuel flow of around 25 GPH. This setting will give you a cruise speed of between 165 and 170 knots true airspeed. The fuel system is a bit unique and requires careful management, particularly when it comes to the auxiliary tanks. In terms of handling, the Cessna 310 is known for its stability and responsiveness. The aircraft's micro-aero vortex generators provide exceptional stability at the slow end of the flight envelope. The airplane simply won't break hard or drop a wing in a stall. It will just go into a very smooth sink. This makes the 310 a forgiving aircraft in the hands of less experienced pilots, while still offering the performance and capabilities that more seasoned aviators can appreciate. The aircraft has a maximum range of about 870 nautical miles, which is 1,000 miles or 1,600 kilometers. One of the standout features is its visibility. The cockpit offers panoramic views with large, clear windows that provide excellent visibility in all directions, which not only makes for a more enjoyable flight experience, but also aids in visual navigation. The aircraft's twin-engine configuration also provides an added level of safety, allowing for continued flight in the event of an engine failure. When it comes to landing, the VGs allow for slightly slower approach and landing speeds if desired. However, using the printed book speeds is often recommended and works well. The aircraft's tricycle landing gear provides excellent stability on the ground, and the powerful flaps allow for steep descent angles and short landing distances. This makes the 310 a versatile aircraft capable of operating out of a wide range of airports. The aircraft has a minimum landing distance of 1,700 feet, or 520 meters, with a useful load of about 2,000 pounds or 900 kg and a full fuel payload of roughly 750 pounds or 340 kg. The Cessna 310 is a fantastic aircraft for cross-country flights, with a usable fuel capacity of 130 gallons giving it a range of about 4 hours with a comfortable VFR reserve. This makes it a versatile aircraft capable of handling a variety of missions. The base purchase price for a pre-owned Cessna 310 is $100,000 to $400,000 before options, and while the total yearly fixed cost is roughly $15,000 to $25,000, the average hourly operating cost is estimated at $250 to $400. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.